Nice painting. What are you dreaming of? I see a little cloud there. Come on. Let us be part of it. M O D a model? Oh. No. Moderation, wonderful, but I'm uh, still in the makeup room. Sorry. Sorry for that uh, and as well we would need a microphone for a presentation. Ah. There you go. Wonderful. You're the artist. I'll be with you in just a sec, okay? And here I am. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's so good to have you here. My name is... Ah, oh, thank you, Olger. I didn't remember myself. Kai Spitzer. It's great to have an artist at your side so you can never forget your name. Ladies and gentlemen, good to have you at Bosch Rexroth. I especially uh, welcome all our foreign guests, our English-speaking guests. Now, what is our show all about? It's, of course, about Industry 4.0, an exciting issue. An uh, issue which is becoming and increasingly uh, becoming more and more reality. So, it will change the world, including the world of manufacturing and automation, of course. So, business models are changing radically as you might figure to yourself already. Google, let's think of Google for a second. Google all of a sudden is starting to build cars. Or let's think of uh, Facebook, you know? Actually, or in the past, we used Facebook for getting in touch with each other. But all of a sudden, Facebook uh, is appearing for a bank license. And uh, you can control your household technology via smartphones. So the world is changing radically, ladies and gentlemen. The core issue, of course, is how can you as a machine manufacturer or how can machine manufacturers interconnect the available information technologies with the world of machines easily and especially efficiently? So we're going to talk about this in just a second. And I can guarantee you the way into Industry 4.0 is very easy and efficient with Bosch Rexroth. But I'm, uh, you know, sometimes coming to a point where I think everything is getting a little bit too fast. Our world is moving in high speed, connecting all these different kind of thoughts, these different kind of issues, these different kind of technologies. You know, sometimes your head really starts to spin and you think, how can I handle all these different parts, all these different gadgets, all these different issues? You know, when it comes to this point, you sometimes have to take a time out. Stop everything. Slow down a little bit, reduce the speed. And Holger, I mean, what is this? You are really drawing a mess here on my chart, but please, let's get rid of this. I don't want to see any of this. You know, we just want a plain white sheet of paper and restart. Holger, sorry, what is this? Chip, come on. So, thank you. Okay, now we can get it started, ladies and gentlemen. Now we have a white sheet of paper. Now we are set up for Industry 4.0. And we want to make it easy and efficient. I'm very, very happy and ple pleased that I have a fine colleague of mine with me on stage. It's uh, Lars Mikkelsen. Lars, good to have you here. Good to be on stage with you. Great that you are taking the time because you know pretty much everything about Industry 4.0. Yeah. And uh, I just mentioned it's very easy entering the world of 4.0 together with Bosch Rexroth. Why is it so easy? Uh, that's true, because we are taking advantage of Industry 4.0 in our own plants, in our own facilities. So we realized a lot of projects in the recent years, and all the experience we gathered in those projects flowed directly into our product development. You know, and as uh, Holred, uh, Holger already points out here on our little screen, it's quite a journey if you yeah. want to enter the world of Industry 4.0, but an old saying, says that even the longest journey begins with the first step. So what would be the first step into 4.0? The first step is clearly an intelligent component. Thus, we are equipping more and more components with intelligence. Okay, talking about intelligence, uh, maybe I should leave the stage. Uh, but Holger, maybe you can give us some intelligence. Can you, can you draw intelligence? Okay, he says yes, he can draw intelligence. And here we go, ready? So, uh, it's actually about Industry 4.0 with brains? Would that be right? Exactly. So the components collect data directly at the machine, they analyze it, 
and then this data is used afterwards in order to optimize the machine. Could you expand on this a little bit? Uh, for example, let's have a look at our new motor generation, the Indradune S. It's much okay. more compact, it's much more powerful than before. Well, I believe you it's yep. that it's more powerful, but what does it have to do with Industry 4.0? Well, the clue is it's not just a motor, it's also a sensor. So if you look at the, at the demonstrator over there, we have realized a torque control without an additional sensor. It's just the motor acting as a motor and as, at the same time acting as a sensor. Okay, so all this actually helps to increase efficiency. But another buzzword we want to talk about is modularization. It's a big buzzword in Industry 4.0. Yeah, that's true. And we also thought about that topic. And what we did is we just put the drive directly onto the motor. Yeah. Okay, as we see right here. But be before we start continuing, uh, Holger, can you draw us a little machine? Because they, they, they just need a machine to realize what's going on here. Okay, as uh, Holger is drawing his machine, maybe you can give us a little short explanation of what is happening. The, the big benefit is now you can commission all your machine modules individually. And if you want to add a machine module subsequently, you can just put it there, connect it to the machine, and you're finished. That's all. Let's get, a bit, let's get a bit more detailed. What are the benefits right here? Well, the benefit is that we also have our, our power supply now available in IP65. And this means you can put the complete drivetrain just into the machine. And that saves up to 90% of the cables. So is it plug and play? It's plug and play, exactly. Well, that's uh, always nice to hear. But uh, lo looking at our picture, I'm wondering what happened to our power supply? Where did it go? The power supply is, n is now here. And now the question is, oh, what is the cabinet for? And yes, you're right, you don't need it anymore. Okay, so yeah, thank you, Holger. Uh, Holger just, uh, yeah, make, make it disappear. That sounds as if, it, uh, as if it might not be the whole secret right here, right? Um, what, what you need, clearly, is, is a control. And our control is the InnoDrive FM that is now also available in IP65 and multi-Ethernet. But the clue is, it's decentralized, it has intelligence and integrated IOs that you can put directly onto the machine. So let's get back to the cabinet one more time. You know, I'm getting a little bit sentimental here. Is, is it over with the cabinet? Do we never see it again? Fortunately, not. Ah, ah, lucky. So there will still be some cabinets from time to time. There are clearly some applications where you need a cabinet and where you need a control. And that's why we have a complete control family called Indra Control. And I mean, clearly, controls and intelligent controls are the heart of industry. 4.0. So as in every family, we need a solution for every need. Is this what we're talking about here? Yeah, exactly. So we have powerful CPU technologies, we have fasted, fastest I.O., and we have even, even very robust hardware design, which means that we have intelligence also in very rough environmental conditions. And thus we have from decentralized controls up to very, very powerful um, IPC solutions, everything in our portfolio. Well, you, you, you are uh, actually going with high speed through this presentation. Many yeah. informations, you're doing great, but I mean, look, look at Holger. Do you see the smoke coming out of his head? Wow, for him it's a powerful job. Holger, can we, can we do something good for you? Yeah, do you have any wishes? Ah, yeah, of course, of course. Uh, maybe something to drink would also be fine for our guest. Does she have a name? Yeah? Okay, and maybe a face would be nice. So, ladies and gentlemen, in just a sec, we'll have a little refreshment for you from our fine colleague, Pia, and that's the way she looks. So, Pia, where are you? Pia will be with you in just a sec, ladies and gentlemen, and serving some drinks, but, sorry, we have to yes, continue Pia. working. Ah, oh, there she is. I'm getting oh. a little bit jealous. Just looks alike. Wonderful. Great drawing. Um, now, we have intelligent components, okay? Yeah. Uh, but how do we use them to get intelligent machines, after all? That's why we developed the Open Core Engineering. The en Open Core Engineering is a very important milestone on the way to Industry 4.0. So what makes this journey so easy with Bosch Rexel? Because I mentioned, I promised in the beginning it's going to be easy. We have everything. We have the software tools, we have the open standards, and we have the function toolkits. And moreover, we combine all these three in just one engineering environment. Okay, talking about uh, function toolkits, what is the benefit for the machine manufacturers? You don't have to program anymore for just complicated procedures. You can just 
take it, parameterize it, use it, and you're much faster to the market than before. Okay, I see. So far, so good. But uh, yet everybody's talking about the smart factory. Yep. Do we already have a smart factory at this point? As you said, it's just a smart machine until now. What we need for a smart factory are smart solutions. And there are a lot of smart solutions out there in the IT world. And that's why we connect two worlds, the automation world and the IT world. And we do that once again in a very, very easy way, using open standards. And you can imagine it like a bridge. Oh, and using okay. that bridge, you can build up smart factories. Holger, a bridge? Oh, yeah. He can, he can quickly organize a bridge. Wonderful. Here we go. And he can uh, continue talking, uh, continue uh, drawing, I mean. So what are those open standards you've been talking about? Well, let's take one of the examples that everybody knows that deals with Industry 4.0, and that is OPC UA. It's one of the main standards. Well, OPC UA, uh, I'm, most of our visitors know, but maybe you can uh, explain to us, is it very difficult to use? Uh, not when it comes to Bosch Flexler, because we have the great web connector, which connects the automation world and the automation to IoT protocols. So if I got you right, with OPC UA, we enable machines to talk to each other, right? Yep, right. But does it also enable us to connect with all IT solutions? No, we, we need something more. And that's why our OCCO interface supports a lot of high-level languages. So you have a direct, a direct interface to all the data and all the functionality on the, uh, on the controls. And that makes it so easy to connect to all those IT solutions that, that are out there. What, what kind of IT solutions are we talking about here? Uh, for example, model-based engineering, rapid control prototyping, open source automation, web-based okay, automation. Okay, 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 thank you. Yeah, you know like hundreds of them, I know. He, he mentioned them all to me yesterday in the hotel. It was a tough evening for me, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, if you want to know more about it, please make sure to talk to our expert or to, to Lars. He'll be right here. And um, let's go on, Lars. Yeah. We have components equipped with intelligence. Holger helped us to build a bridge and to connect the world. So may maybe you can give us a short brief overview of where we are standing right now. And Lars, maybe short explanation. I mean, that's our automation concept. We have a aut full automation concept and together with our leading IT partners, we pave you the way to industry 4.0. So what would we have? We have intelligent components inside intelligent machines. We have intelligent machines inside a smart factory. And we have a smart factory connected to all the IT solutions that are out there. Okay, looks per Ah, look, Holger fell in love with uh, open source automation. A little hard right here. Come on, Perhaps stay Pia professional, Holger. Perhaps so Pia is working in the open source automation. <laughs> yes, perfectly. So we have a nice little overview. Do you have a specific example for our guests? Uh, well, in the, in the beginning, you said and I said, nobody can do it alone. And that's why I don't have an example with me. I have something better. I have Benjamin. Benjamin is working for the Eclipse Foundation, and I'm sure he has a very good example for us. Ah, Benjamin, it's always a pleasure to have you here. Likewise. Uh, Likewise. So make a guess. Where is he from? Talk a few words. I don't know what I could say, ah. except that maybe <laughs> I'm from France. From France. Great to have you here from France. So Benjamin, what is your opinion regarding, uh, or your point of view regarding Industry 4.0? Well, I'm glad you mentioned open standards, Lars. Uh, we, we think open standards are, of course, important for uh, the success of Industry 4.0, but they are nothing if you don't have open source implementations. At Eclipse, we love open source, as you just said, and uh, we believe it's important to have uh, access to open source implementations of all the standards to drive innovation and to help people build their solutions faster. Okay, and what in, in detail are you showing here at the booth of Bosch Rexroth as one of our partners. So we, uh, we show how easy it is to integrate uh, Rexroth solution uh, by using the web connector, for example, that Lars just mentioned. Uh, we use the Lua programming language, so we provide all the tools to help people develop their solutions. It's, Lua is essentially this scripting language that you can use to easily plug your devices in, in, in your network. And we also leverage the web connector to easily interface with all the IoT devices using protocols like MQTT, for example. Wow. Benjamin, merci beaucoup. C'était terrifique. I hope I was right here. So it was all right. Thank you. Stay with us for a second because we're almost done with our show. Uh, Lars, thank you so much. 
in the beginning, I promised to our audience that it's going to be easy and efficient. And I think we uh, made the promise become a reality. So ladies and gentlemen, please make sure you talk to our experts here at the booth. It will be Benjamin or Lars or many others. They'll be happy to answer your questions. Bosch Rexroth Services is located right behind me. Come, come a little bit closer. The camera team is here. Maybe we're going to be stars tomorrow. Thank you and have a good afternoon. Bye-bye.